you basically clean the wheel. And see how they both got connected. Right. Yes, hello, welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be a very short video because basically I'm going to show you how to put these, these Magine, I call them Magine, might be Magine, um, speed and cadence sensors on your bicycle so you can track it via Swift or what's any other app that is, is um, compatible with it. Um, basically, I got these off Amazon. Um, I will stick them, I might put them in the um, description below where I got them from. Um, I looked on eBay and uh, basically there's some for 15 or 12 quid but it, but it shows two on the picture but you only actually get one. These are from Amazon for 40 pound, it might be a different price now. But these, 40 pound for two, one of each. One for the wheel and one for the, um, the, pedal, the pedal arm. So it tracks your cadence and it tracks your speed. So cadence is obviously the um, part of your pedaling, so the motion of your pedaling. And speed is obviously the motion of how fast your back wheel is going around in a full 360 and you know, full turn. So um, this is what's in the box. And two of these little sleeves like this with the different the, the pads that you go underneath there which uh, the pad would go onto there so effectively you put that pad onto there and then you'd use the big or the little ring depending on how when it's going to be I think it's going to be the little ring on the pedal and the big ring on the wheel basically um, and and you may think, well, how do you, how do you make one by the, the other, and what and what not? Like, how do you make cadence? How do you make speed? Well, according to the instructions, um, you, it, when it's green, when the light is on green, um, it means it is. This is a speed, so I'll go in the back wheel, and when the other one is on red, it's a cadence, and you, and so basically to set these up. All you do is you take the battery out, put it back in, and it changes over to a different um, capability, it changes some cadence, take the battery out, put it back in, change the speed, and vice versa, and like that. So I'm going to show you how to put it on, put them onto the um, onto the bike, and to sync it up with uh, with Zwift, and uh, and yeah, let's let's try this. It was very very easy. I did it on this side. It is effect. I put it on there which is there, you basically put it on the wheel there, use the um, the, last, the bands that come with it to strap it underneath to there and then use a small elastic band there and you put it again, again with the elastic bands there, yes my bike is dirty but there you go, it's on you basically clean the wheel so you go onto your Zwift I'll put OK so you go onto your Zwift there when it goes into that uh, when you go to your power and you can see it, it pairs up there and you just click whichever one so I click that and then OK. OK, and then you just see how they both got connected, right there. Cadence and speed sensor are both connected because you've effectively made, you've effectively spun the wheel and spun the, you've effectively pedaled and spun the wheel. And it's sorted. So that's basically what you do. Um, and you just go and you, it says it's connected still as you can see and you go let's go that is already done now you just go on your bike and it will tell you basically what you've done how you've done it and all that stuff 